All right, guys, thanks for joining me today. Today I'll be servicing my Reefs Triple Four um, Servo. And for this uh, servicing, you will need a pair of vice grips, two millimeter uh, hex head, a 1.5 millimeter hex head, a brush, a Phillips head, a flat head, and I have a uh, plastic pick and flat head. And then another tool here to help. And of course, obviously, you'll need the Reefs gear set. This is the Triple uh, Four version two gear set. And this is what's all in the packaging. This is the part number. There you go. All right. So obviously, before you uh, take it apart, you want to make sure that you get a brush. And brush off all the dirt around it. Make sure it's all nice and clean before you take it apart. And from there, you would take off the servo horn and the uh, cover. Now, this cover is very interesting. Um, like most servos, only has a set of screws in the back part of it. And obviously, I already taken apart the servo already. But usually, there are some just you know some screws in the back side of it where you just undo it and just comes apart. This has uh, servo screws on both sides. So let me go ahead and take it apart real quick. Now you don't really need to take apart this side that has the wiring on it. You can stay unless you want to replace the seal. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and take it apart since it already comes with a kit. Seal is already comes with a kit. I'm going to go ahead and replace it anyways. But uh, basically, it's four screws, the Phillips heads. Make sure the Phillips heads is the correct pattern or the head because you will strip these easily if you don't have the right one. I can't stress that enough. So make sure it's the right one or else you will strip it and then you will be uh, in bad shape. So anyhow, the problem you might run into that I ran into was the once I removed all the screws, Yeah, the problem I was running into with this servo, that I don't know, some people might have issues, some people might not. So when I was trying to pull the cover off, it did not want to come off. It was stuck. And I couldn't figure out. I thought I missed a, uh, I don't know, a step or somewhere or screw that I didn't, you know, I didn't uh, unscrew the to get this cover off. So what I ended up doing was I said it was stuck and I kept on gently tapping it, tapping it around. Obviously with the uh, back end of the uh, the tool here, you know, just tapping it around to shake it. See if I can shake it open, you know, shake it loose. And it wouldn't do it. So finally, like I said, I grabbed the little plastic pick that I got. And then, you know, and it slowly pry evenly all the way around to, to gently caress it out. And it finally broke free. But when I opened it, I think I know why it was stuck. So when I opened it, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a cavity inside this uh, servo, which is right here. Let me get this thing to focus real quick. All right, which is right here that sits inside this race, right? Or this cavity right here? Well, the bearing, uh, I guess, somehow weds itself or the tolerance is very good to where it was stuck in there and it did not want to release from the case. So it was holding it from pulling out. So you might run into that where you might need to use a little uh, soft pick or a soft flathead like mine. And gently, all the way evenly, get this to pop out. It will come out. Just don't force it. And don't damage the uh, the sealing lip. So after you do that, you will see the case gears. Which 
you can see here that and then you remember you just gotta make sure to take a note of how everything sits and put it back how you uh found it but what i'm going to end up doing is actually um taking it all apart and cleaning it and just checking everything before i throw it back together in case the uh, clean out the metal shavings or issues i've been having uh with this particular servo so i'm gonna go ahead and do it and then uh i'll be right back Okay, so I went ahead and stripped down the uh, the servo all the way down. And uh, this is pretty much what it looks like. Not much to it. I'm going to go ahead and clean it in about a minute. Um, let's see. Now remember all the edges I was talking about this, where the seal sits. Just be careful not to damage the, uh, the camera here having problems. Damage the lip where hopefully, like I said, if you damage it, it won't seal properly. And then you have some water issues. So one thing I want to do uh, that I've noticed that hopefully uh, will help you guys is the uh, the pieces. Here's the pieces out of the uh, um, the servo, the gears. So this is the old set right here, and this is the new one. Not much different. Um, I can't see any differences. Only thing I will say that um, be careful. You only get one of these little bearings. One of these little bearings. There's two of them in the servo. And the one that this one was actually sitting. Uh, let's see. I don't know if you guys can see it. So this one was sitting right here on the pocket. And it was stuck. I couldn't get it to. Uh, you know, like I said, it was stuck in there and I couldn't get remove all the gears. It was holding the gears in. So, like I said, this is where you need a, some sort of flathead like this. Go in there and just gently, gently. You know, if you have a rubber one, it'll be even better. I tried with the plastic one, didn't really work. But I went in there and just evenly went around and gently, you know, maneuver it out of there to wiggle it. But like I said, you only get one of the, one of these bearings, and it's for the uh, the bearing that sits inside this uh, race up here in the cap. So uh, this one, you do need to take it off in order to take one of the gears. You'll you'll notice it once you take it apart that what's what is uh, apparent. Uh, but anyways, be gentle with this bearing right here, because uh, if you break this, you can't put the servo back together. Uh, with that being said. The other bearing that I had originally had problems with on this uh, cover, I it was stuck on this, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's stuck on this shaft right here. I just couldn't get it off the shaft, so I ended up having to use the vice grips and uh, just to pull it off just so I could release the gears. All the gears were held together and the bearings didn't, I couldn't pop off the gears because they were stuck. So I went ahead and broke it, and like I said, it's very, very fragile. And as you can tell from the uh, the bottom is what's left over. All these little pieces is from the bearing that I had to break to get to release the, uh, the components. But that's okay. Like I said, you get one bearing from the kit. Yep, this bearing right here is what you get with it. So it's doable, and you have to replace the gears anyway. That's what I did what I did. Because you don't really need that piece. And I just broke it. And you're going to replace the gears anyway. So I went ahead and did that. And uh, there's also one more little thing. Which is this little little uh, retainer. Don't lose that. That only goes a certain way. Alright guys. I'm going to go ahead and put it together. Clean it. And I'll be back. Alright guys. So I'm back. I cleaned it. And a couple of things I forgot to mention that I found along the ways again. I forgot. I just got regular bearing grease. Nothing special. Just bearing grease. I cleaned it out, like I said. Uh, the other thing I forgot to uh, mention was, uh, remember I was saying that it only had one of those bearings that I needed, you know, that it came with? Well, it turns out that the uh, upon a closer look into it, this main gear where your servo horn mounts onto, from the Reeves uh, parts tree here, 
it already comes with the bearing built in and everything for you already so there's actually two bearings in there i just want to make sure i mentioned that there's two bearings in there so you pretty much just put the new one on uh the little retainer comes with it too it's all inside in one unit all right so before i close the lid actually let me back up now remember that bearing i was talking about see that bearing inside there that was the one that was giving me problems from being able to pop off this top to access those gears so anyhow i greased it up i packed the uh these are open face uh bearings so i packed the grease inside the bearing so that would help a little bit better and then before i close it I'm going to go ahead and test the uh, servo to make sure it works. Now, this is what it looks like after it's all put back together. And this is, like I said, I'll have a picture in the video for reference in case uh, you guys forget to take note of how everything works or put together. But like I said, before I put it together, I'm going to go ahead and test it. And... Seems to work really, really good. That weird uh, uh, loose feel to the servo is gone. Now, when you put it back, also, I want to say that there's a little pin in here. It's actually on this. I don't know if you see it. There's a little pin right there. Now, there's a groove in there that the pin sits on. It's kind of hard to see, but... When you take it off, you'll be it, it would pretty much be apparent where the groove goes and it stops. It's like a, a bump stop for the uh, the servo. But like I said, before I put it all back together and the seals and lock it all tight, I just want to make sure it works. It's really, really smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it out the outside and I'm going to coat the gears one more time, put some grease and those teeth so it'll help it last a little bit longer but all in all i think it's pretty straightforward um let me know down in the comments below if you guys need help or uh have questions let me know but other than that i am going ahead and button this thing back up and put it back on the trail all right guys i'll see you guys in the next one take care